of the president is to be the liaison between the community, the alumni, the donors, for the benefit of the students, not for the administration's salaries. <clears throat> Many of us are, at this university are saddened to think the current former administrative presidents, Mr. Parra and Mr. Alexander, have lived in their dark, dank, shadowy, insular cave for so many years that they are akin to Plato having Aristotle describe the allegory of the cave subjects who believe the dark, dank, shadowy insular cave that has been created is true reality. It is not. It is not. And they crucify those who oppose and disagree with them. It may be this administration's reality. It is not our reality. I urge you to please, I'm talking to the advisory group and the board of trustees, to please thoroughly investigate my character, my reputation, my background, and professional credentials. Don't you here believe it is time for our university to leave the darkness and let the sun shine in? Here, yes, here, here. here. Did you want to say something? I was actually wondering if I can get your name. I have to jet, but I'd like to contact you. Oh, yeah, Brian Lane. I can give him that info. Anybody, anybody have anything they want to add sure. today? What? I mean, the, it is, it's a sign of our, of you know, Scott. Yeah, I have some questions for all you guys. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Um, first, I'd just like to thank you guys and also, um, What type of, has there been any resolution from, yeah. from any of this in the first town hall meetings from the, to this one, or is there, has there been any notes from administration, or have we heard from you? Yeah. Well, we've heard from them, but not in a direct way. What we've heard is um, the, the uh, announcement of the uh, intention to develop the advisory committee. Um, I, I, I don't think I'm taking too much credit to say that if we hadn't had that first town hall meeting, they would have considered uh, this was a, a, a status quo situation, and they would have just done it uh, all in, in camera without any contact to the campus as they have done before. But I think we blew, blew their cover and, and made them come forward with, with the uh, proposal to at least canvas the campus for people to, to, to form this advisory, advisory group. They, they certainly seem to pop up after our town hall and suddenly announce, oh yeah, we do need to put a couple of faculty on the committee. Here's how we'll do it. And they had a 48-hour nominating process. That was it. Yeah. The email came out on Wednesday and you had to nominate by Friday. And then they wanted to get the voting done on the you know, starting on the 10th, so before we had our next town hall, which had already been announced. Um, that's a pretty big, pretty fast turnaround. I can tell you there are already some questions about how that was handled and people who, nom who were nominated who didn't wind up on the ballot, who were supposed to wind up on the ballot. So there are, that's going to lead to a bunch of crazy things. I, actually, I can tell you for a fact about that. I think the voting <coughs> closes tomorrow. Tomorrow, too. yeah. And all the candidate statements are just, this is what I've done. None of them are saying anything about what oh, the no, the ones, would, would be for what the ones pick. who did wound up not on the ballot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know who to pick because they're all just talking about their credentials. None of them have any sort of. And there was no help. Nobody, nobody has explained how they determined what the exactly. what the qualifications were to be for someone to be on the ballot. Exactly. It suddenly came from the chair of the, of the academic senate <coughs> that oh, here's here's what we want. And I don't know where there was ever any debate or discussion of what that should be. I'm glad Maria Carrera's on the ballot, and I hope she gets on the committee. But I, mean, I hope everybody votes for her. But by the same token, 
it doesn't make any sense. They clearly needed to rush to do it because they were already trying to place their ads. And they, as you heard from Craig, they couldn't actually place those ads until they'd done all these other steps, but they sort of weren't planning on doing those steps. Have any of the, of the new speakers today been able to get on the ballot? Or for the uh, oh, speaker, Maria Pereira is on the ballot. I mean, what's, what's interesting on the ballot is that it's not diverse. There's only one, there's no one from the College of the Arts at all. There's one person from CLA, CLA and that's Maria. Everybody else uh, on there is from... Um, there's engineering, business, um, How many total? nursing. I think there were nine total, right? You think there were that many? No, yeah. not quite. I believe there were nine. There were nine. Huh? I know. And we only got one. And you know, I can tell you, I mean, I'm willing to say I put myself up from CODA, um, not really wanting to do it, but curious to see what they would do. And I and I knew for, and I predicted, I said, don't worry, about it. they won't put me on the ballot. They won't allow that to happen. So that, And also, with the ballot had some assistant professors who have just been here for a year. I mean, we're, we have no idea where they came out with how they came out. So I've written now to complain and say, you know, this is silly. And also, yeah, if you weren't going to put somebody on the ballot, why wouldn't you get back to them and say, here's the problem? Here's why you were to your point, I, mean, I, I think it's well taken, but um, what I put in my statement was that I was committed to following the rules. Right. Because in, in that way, I was signaling that this wasn't about favoritism, cronyism, anything like that. We were going to stick to the rules, because I believe that if we stick to the rules, process will work itself well. But when it's about hiding things, lack of transparency, favoring friends, etc., that's where we go wrong and that's where all this, you know, all these things that Mary was talking about set in. Yeah, Maria is the only one who addressed the process exactly. statement exactly. for the yeah. 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 And it's that's really the best well. No, well, she's she, not. She, 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 well, I don't. Yeah, you know, I'm probably not gonna make it. I mean, I'm I don't know. I voted for okay. you. <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, I put my name out. We'll see. You know. Scott, I don't want any of the emails on that stuff. Yes, yeah, it's not just. Yeah. 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 The resume. I wanted to hear what there's. Your status. Your point is well taken. Yes. You just got to do it before tomorrow. By Friday, right? No, by tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I'll give you the login. I waited because I wanted more information. Anybody else is a reporter once I can see Yeah, um, is there anything that will ever happen where like the students will have any say like who the president is or yeah, who anything? Uh, the student elected, like, state well well not that, but I mean like the higher like the board members or, or I mean like the president of the school, like you know, here, you know, like higher up yeah, we'll people that have any involvement in the process. They they have a role in the advisory committee, but that's a group. There's that's not selection, that's after the yeah. fact. Yeah, the board of trustees is the only one who selects. But see, I think, I think uh, uh, Kathy's pointing out something that, that, that we're not addressing here, and that is that we have constituents on this campus. The constituents are faculty, staff, and students. And these presidential candidates must come to campus before the process whittles it down to three of which two will be found to be felonious <laughs> and or, you know, and have not currently uh, U.S. citizens, right. so they wind up with one, and have to point that one. We need to get these people here earlier in the process, we'll, we'll see five of them or six of them, and they need to meet with the students. They need to set up a town hall meeting where the st constituents, the, the, the staff, the students, and the faculty, can each have a time with these individual uh, candidates and grill them. Who are you? What makes you think you can come here and run this institution? Well, actually, I think they should do more than town hall. They should use social media. You know, it's a great way for everybody to communicate what their issues are. You know, there could be a Twitter account set up, you know, and all of that. There's the CSULB, you know, variety of Facebooks, but Twitter is such an easy way, and the kids are, you know, really gravitate towards that, and it's really easy to get your mind across that. And there should be a blog by the darn, you know, uh, Candidate. candidates who can really talk about the issues. I mean, there are so many easy ways to communicate now. The yeah. students were responding when I talked to them earlier today in the union. I said, we don't want this behind closed doors. We want you to know what's going on. You're all welcome to come upstairs in a half an hour or an hour. They were like, yeah, OK, but I've got class. OK, for you, we're going to have another meeting. And for you, for you, hope to see you in an hour. Yeah, but we can do social media. 
they could log the on step. at 10 p.m. at their time. And maybe that's it could be maybe that's video, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube streams, Twitter, blogs, you know, let's use the mediums. Believe it or not, this is uh, going to lead up to Mike's question, but um, the petition I have seen actually move around between students, uh, the one on change.org. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one has actually been moving around between a few students, so, you know, there's slowly gaining a little right. And uh, I was going to ask you, um, what is the progress of that, or has there been any development with that, or is it still just a slow moving process? Is it slow? We're getting slowly getting out the work. We're trying to do it all in a big rush. We're trying to really get, trying to get some. It helped having certainly having the article on the Forty Nine er last night made everybody realize that <coughs> something is going on. And the resolution that the Academic Senate is talking about is is um, helping to get the professors talking about it. So it's you know a typical semester starting three weeks in and people are now starting to get their bearings and to say what's going on here what, what are we doing next and realizing there's actually a presidential search happening so but let me ask you something suppose a candidate came in and said I'm going to cut down the number of administrative positions I'm going to make things much more transparent I'm going to fight cronyism <coughs> what chance would that person have of making it to president of this university. Okay, I mean, even if we all stand up and clap and say he's fantastic, where is this person going to go? I, I don't think so. We have to hope that on the